Former President Trump's White House counsel, Pat Cipollone, is testifying in front of the January 6th Select Committee today. He was subpoenaed last week, just a day after White House aide Cassidy Hutchinson testified. Today's meeting is behind closed doors, but it's being transcribed and videotaped. NBC reporter Gary Grumbach is in Washington, outside the building where that meeting is going to take place. Gary, good morning to you. So first off, tell us what we can expect from this closed door meeting today, and can we expect then the tape from Cipollone to be used and played in future public here. Hey there, Joe. Yeah, first off, we are expecting Pat Cipollone to walk through these doors behind me in the next few hours, go upstairs and meet with the committee for the very first time. This is a real sought after witness here because of where he was and when he was there. He was the Trump White House counsel from 2018 on. He was, in fact, the White House's lead defense argument uh, maker for the first impeachment trial. When it came to the second impeachment trial, he said he wanted no part of it because of Trump's election fraud claims when it came to that situation. He was also been mentioned by nearly every other witness we, during these past few hearings that we have seen related to January 6th. We've heard him talk about by uh, Jason Miller. We've heard him from Cassidy Hutchinson, and we've heard from Jared Kushner and Ivanka. They've all put him in the room where decisions are being made. And so as it relates to whether or not we'll see testimony from Pat Cipollone in future hearings, we've seen it from Bill Barr. We've seen it from Jason Miller. We've seen it from Ivanka and Jared Kushner. There's no no doubt we'll see it from Pat Cipollone as well. Gary, you mentioned Cassidy Hutchinson, who testified in front of the committee just a day before Cipollone was subpoenaed. What was it from her testimony that made the committee really want to put on this pressure to call on the former Trump counsel? Well, this is somebody they've wanted to talk to for months now. Back in April, he held an informal meeting, uh, less of a deposed situation, but an informal meeting back in April with the committee. This is going to be a much more serious, deposed, on-camera, under oath situation. Uh, but what Cassidy Hutchinson put him in the room for, especially these conversations as it relates to whether or not Donald Trump was going up to the Capitol or wanted to go up to the Capitol on January 6th, that puts him in a place where he knows what he's, what he's talking about here. And, you know, at NBC News, we have a rule where if it's two sources, we sort of report it. This is the same kind of situation here where Cassidy Hutchinson said something under oath. If Pat Cipollone does too, that's two sources they have. Joe? Good, way to, good way to explain that there. So what is next after today? We know that the committee has a big hearing on Tuesday, another one of those public hearings. What can we expect there? Yeah, this is going to be a hearing about domestic extremists and how they related to January 6th. Of course, we've seen a number of Proud Boys and Oath Keepers that have been arrested and charged with crimes as it relates to what they did on January 6th. This is going to be about their connections to the Trump world, who they had conversations with, who they didn't have conversations with. And we've seen a lot of this videotape from documentarian Alex Holder. We're sure that's going to be a big part of this because that man with a camera was in all of these meetings in all of these rooms, and he sure has some of this on camera. Joe? All right, Gary Grumbach in Washington. We know you'll be keeping an eye on it throughout the day, Gary. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.